It's big, it's loud, and it's one of the most important aircraft in the U.S. Air Force. The C-17 Globemaster III is more than a cargo jet. It's a global force enabler, capable of carrying tanks, troops, supplies, and humanitarian aid. This aircraft doesn't just support war, it supports the world. Whether landing on dirt runways or dropping paratroopers into active combat zones, the C-17 remains a flying powerhouse that few aircraft can match. Developed in the late 1980s by McDonnell Douglas, the C-17 was designed to fill the gap between strategic and tactical airlift. The Air Force needed a jet that could land on short, unprepared runways while still hauling massive payloads. The result? A rugged, reliable aircraft with the agility of a smaller plane and the muscle of a heavy hauler. Since its introduction, the C-17 has become essential for rapid deployment and global reach. From war zones in Iraq and Afghanistan to disaster relief in Haiti and Indonesia, the C-17 has proven its worth in both combat and humanitarian missions. It can fly intercontinental distances, refuel mid-air, and deliver tanks, armored vehicles, and medical supplies right where they're needed. Its rear cargo ramp can even airdrop cargo or troops at high speeds, making it a flexible tool for every kind of operation, from peacekeeping to full-scale war. What really makes the C-17 special is its ability to go where others can't. It can land on remote airstrips as short as 3,500 feet, perform tactical turns mid-air, and take off in tight spaces. Its four Pratt and Whitney engines give it over 40,000 pounds of thrust each, and its advanced flight systems allow for precise maneuvering under pressure. Simply put, it's a cargo aircraft built like a war machine with brains, brawn, and boldness. In this video, we take you deep into the world of the C-17 Globemaster III. From its origins in Cold War planning to its battlefield role today, you'll learn how this iconic aircraft became the backbone of America's global operations. Whether it's delivering tanks to the front line or evacuating civilians in a crisis, the C-17 proves one thing again and again. It's not just a transport plane, it's a flying powerhouse. The story of the C-17 Globemaster III begins in the early 1980s, when the U.S. Air Force sought a new airlifter to replace the aging C-141 Starlifter. While the C-130 was effective for tactical missions and the C-5 Galaxy handled strategic ones, there was a critical need for a versatile aircraft that could do both. In 1981, McDonnell Douglas was awarded a contract to develop this next-generation airlifter an aircraft that would redefine global mobility. The design requirements were bold, carry large payloads, land on short and unpaved runways, perform tactical maneuvers, and be capable of rapid deployment anywhere on Earth. The result was a C-17, which incorporated a high-wing design, T-tail, rear loading ramp, and four massive turbofan engines. Its ability to operate in austere environments gave it an edge that would prove invaluable in real-world missions. First flown in 1991, the aircraft entered full production by the mid-1990s. Though the program faced early cost, overruns, and political scrutiny, the C-17 soon proved its worth. During testing, it demonstrated the ability to land on runways as short as 3,500 feet and back up under its own power, something most large jets couldn't do. Its cargo bay was large enough to fit an M1 Abrams tank, making it the first airlifter that could combine tactical flexibility with heavy transport capabilities. It quickly became a strategic asset. The C-17 saw its first operational deployment in 1995 during Operation Joint Endeavor, supporting peacekeeping forces in the Balkans. It excelled in tough terrain and challenging logistics, but it was after September 11th that the aircraft truly rose to prominence. During the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, the C-17 became the backbone of American air mobility, flying troops, equipment, 
and medical evacuees across hostile and remote areas with unmatched reliability and speed. As conflicts intensified in the Middle East, the C-17's versatility became legendary. Its ability to airdrop supplies and troops directly into combat zones made it essential for airborne assaults and emergency response. Pilots often flew into hot landing zones, relying on the aircraft's advanced avionics and agility. It routinely delivered vehicles, ammunition, and food to areas unreachable by ground. In addition to military operations, it was heavily used for aeromedical evacuations of wounded personnel. Beyond combat, the C-17 has played a pivotal role in humanitarian operations. After the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, it was one of the first aircraft to deliver critical supplies to affected regions. It did the same after the Haiti earthquake in 2010 and Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. Its ability to fly long distances nonstop, land in disaster-stricken zones, and rapidly offload life-saving aid proved it wasn't just a machine of war, it was a machine of mercy. Technologically, the C-17 was ahead of its time. Its fly-by-wire system gave pilots better control and safety in adverse conditions. The aircraft could perform steep tactical approaches and reverse thrust in mid-air to land on short strips. With a maximum payload of over 170,000 pounds, it could carry tanks, helicopters, and even entire mobile hospitals. The cockpit was designed for efficiency with a crew of just three, two pilots and one loadmaster. The aircraft's power comes from four Pratt & Whitney F117PW 100 turbofan engines, each generating 40,000 pounds of thrust. These engines allow the C-17 to take off fully loaded from short runways and reach altitudes of 35,000 feet at high speeds. It can refuel in midair, extending its global reach. Whether operating from an icy base in Alaska or a dusty strip in Afghanistan, the C-17 maintains peak performance in the world's most demanding environments. The production of the C-17 continued until 2015 with 279 aircraft built. While the United States remains the largest operator, several allies, including the United Kingdom, Australia, India, and Qatar, also operate the C-17. Its durability and reliability have made it a favorite among military pilots worldwide. Even decades after its debut, the aircraft remains at the center of modern airlift operations, with no true replacement yet on the horizon. Today, the C-17 Globemaster III stands as a symbol of American air power and global reach. Whether delivering tanks to the front lines, evacuating civilians, or responding to a natural disaster, it fulfills its mission with unmatched grace and might. As the world changes and threats evolve, the C-17 continues to serve as a flying powerhouse, a marvel of engineering, and a testament to what smart design and strategic foresight can achieve in military aviation history. As the engines roar and the landing gear lifts, the C-17 Globemaster III continues to carry not just cargo, but the very mission of global stability and rapid response. From battlefields to disaster zones, it has proven to be an indispensable lifeline for the U.S. military and its allies. Its legacy is written not only in military success, but in lives saved and missions accomplished across continents. The C-17 isn't just a plane, it's a symbol of global reach, unyielding strength, and unmatched reliability in the skies.